Our, our next Hall of Fame inductee was a man who redefined leadership and, and I presume also the nature of discipline at Grambling. I asked earlier, what's in a name? Well, let's be clear, this man made his name. Ralph Waldo Emerson Jones was not just an exceptional coach at Grambling, but the president of the school as well for over three decades. It is without question that his positive and profound influence on generations, not just of athletes and students, but on the community is a legacy that lives on and is worthy of the Hall of Fame. Here to accept for Ralph Waldo Emerson Jones is his grandson, Ernest Jones. Ralph Waldo Emerson Jones coached at Grambling State from 1926 to 1977. During his tenure, he won six titles in the now defunct Midwest Athletic League from 52 to 58, and five titles in the Southwestern Athletic Conference from 61 to 67. He was named NAIA Coach of the Year in 1967. Jones coached 11 NAIA All-Americans, including Tommy Agee and Ralph Garr, while compiling a career record of 816 wins over 218 losses. Jones, whose nickname on campus was Prez, was a mighty busy man during his time at Grambling, also serving as the university's president from 1936 to 1977. He was inducted into the SWAC Hall of Fame in 1992. We're now joined by Ernest Jones, and, and seeing that about your grandfather, and he, t he talked about it. he was a president, baseball coach, and you were telling me before he was also the football coach, which led to maybe one of his maybe more popular decisions. A absolutely. His uh, greatest baseball decision was probably deciding that uh, his true passion was the sport of baseball in 1941. He decided to give up the head, foot call, foot, the head football coaching position and hired a gentleman by the name of Eddie Robinson uh, to succeed him and take over uh, what has become world famous uh, in the name. Yeah, I think that one worked out all right for him, for that, that decision. I think it was a pretty good decision. <laughs> uh, talk about your grandfather, because it's almost hard to imagine that, that a guy could be a university president, he could, he could also handle baseball and be successful as well. What, what kind of man was he? Well, uh, the first thing he would do is, is, is congratulate all of the uh, reward re recipients this evening and all of the Hall of Fame uh, inductees. And secondly, he would certainly say thank you to the Hall um, and the board for such a humbling and honorable experience, certainly. How has he affected you in your life? Um, well, listen, as Coach Ellis said it before and earlier, um, we could talk about him for a very long time. Uh, you know, I'll use an analogy that he used very often. Baseball as a sport is the only sport that you play offense as an individual and you play defense as a team. And it's the sport that he felt was most analogous to the, to the world that we live each and every day called life. Um, so he would certainly give thanks to God. Um, and in an act that uh, I, I'll take tonight on behalf of him and our family, um, this wonderful ring uh, that were presented to the inductees earlier this evening um, will never be worn by myself or anybody in the family. Uh, instead, it'll go back to Grambling University with Coach Ellis uh, and be displayed for everybody as a part of that community, every faculty member, every athlete, um, every professional that ever went through the university. Uh, this will be a part of that family forever. Well, that's fantastic. So we thank you. I know talking to you earlier, it's a great honor for you to be here. Congratulations uh, for your grandfather. I know he's a great man, obviously, and, and we are so glad you could make it here with us tonight. Thank you very much. All right, thank you.